Parshas Vayera, the sixth Aliyah, speaks about how Abimelech approaches Avram Avinu and asks him to enter into a treaty with him. And in the treaty, neither party would harm the other for three generations. Avram agrees to this deal and reprimands Avimelech concerning a well of water, which he, Avram, had dug, but it was stolen by Avimelech's servants. Avram then plants an orchard and established an inn in Be'er Sheva, and he names it after Hashem for all people that pass by. That's the end of the Aliyah. The name of the inn was Eshel. It was called Eshel Avram. And our rabbis teach us that Eshel is really Rashi Tebas. Aleph Shin Lamed stands for Achila, Shtia, and Levaya. That this was an inn that Hashem, that Avram Avinu served his guests food, Achila. He gave them what to drink, Shtia. And Levaya, after their experience was over, after they finished uh, the hospitality of, of Avram Avinu, Avram Avinu escorts them out, which is a very important mitzvah of that not everyone does, that after you have guests in your home, it's very important to walk them out of your home about four steps or even more if you want, but that's a major part of the mitzvah of Hachnas Azarchem. Eishel Avram Achila Shtia and Levaya. There's a story that's told of a very wealthy, generous uh, individual in the city of Vilna, and he invited many people to his home. He was a great machneserach, specifically yeshiva boys that needed a place to eat and to sleep, and uh, he invited them in constantly. One day, his house tragically had a fire and burned down to the ground. They asked the Vilna Gain, who was living in Vilna at the time as well, how could such a thing happen? How is it possible that a man who dedicated his life to uh, serving and to hosting so many guests, that his house would burn down? That, that house was a, a special place of mitzvah. So the Vilna Gain said, did he give people to eat? Yes, they answered. Did he give people to drink? Yes. And after the mitzvah was over, did he also escort them out? They said, no, he never, he always stayed in his seat. He never escorted us out. He says, that's the reason why. He says, Eishel Avram, Achila, Shtia, and Levaya. If you have Achila and Shtia, just eating and drinking without the Levaya element, without the escorting after the meal is over, then you're left with Eish, you're left with fire. This story always troubled me because, okay, why are we holding it against him? I mean, okay, he didn't complete the mitzvah, but better... I guess the first part, then no part. And I think that the simple explanation might be that when a person invites people into their home and they give them to eat and drink, a lot of it is not necessarily pure chesed. A lot of it is because I want to feel like I'm a balabas, I'm a host, and I'm having you come into my, into my home, and I'm, I'm important, I'm sitting in the front seat, and I'm giving you food. It makes me feel good. But the main way of testing how sincere your, your drive was, your motivation was for Achnes Sarachim is really at the end of the meal. Do you escort them out? Sometimes it's freezing cold outside in the winter or it's boiling hot in the summer, and it's an imposition now for you to escort them. But by doing so, you're showing that the entire mitzvah of Achila and Shtia is really sincerely motivated by a pure act of chesed. And so... Levaya is not just a part of the mitzvah, it's perhaps the most critical part of the mitzvah, even though it's at the end and it's after the food and the drink has been given, but it really shows the sincere intention of the machnes of the person that invited uh, the guests into his home.